Hey guys, it's Bia here. So today we're back with another video and today I'm going to be uh, um, uh, What was I going to say? I'm going to be answering one of your comments on one of my videos It's one of my old videos on how to like I think it was me showing my a level of my GCSE and uh, I had these on there so as you guys can see I have like these mannequin type things and then I have like some random um, abstract images collaged on top of them and I had one of you guys ask me uh, for the tutorial because in that video I did mention if you guys wanted a tutorial on that I would do a tutorial on that and someone finally asked for it so I'm finally doing it for you guys so this is basically a tutorial on how to essentially do collage on Illustrator and how to edit your images from just a normal image or whatever you want and then how I use that and I changed it and I manip manipulate it to be able to create a collage that will eventually uh, inform your design or develop ideas or just spark some sort of uh, create I don't know it's just a spark ideas development of your work and this can be used not only in GCSC also a level and also in uh, uni stage so you can be using that when you're studying um, I still use that I literally just used that the other day and I will show you an example in my work so yeah um without further ado actually there is something i would like to tell you guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel because we're soon reaching 1000 and i'm so excited that we're finally getting there it's like so close we're like 100 away <laughs> sorry guys for the excitement but i've been waiting for this for so long so uh if you guys um haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe i am making videos answering your guys's questions and trying to help you guys as much as i can uh at every stage of your uh fashion or textiles um career development and so on so if there's techniques you want me to, ex uh, to explain how to do if there's anything that you want to know in terms of fashion design and sketching and uh fabric choices and so on books that you might want just le leave comments and i will do what you guys ask for that's basically what it is i'm here to help you guys because i know i didn't have it for myself because at the time there was not many people on youtube trying to do that so i struggled and i really hope i can help you guys through that journey so yeah please don't forget to subscribe to the channel um now without further ado let's get on with this video so guys, I actually had some technical difficulties and um, I did the whole tutorial and then it decided that I actually didn't record anything. So we're going to have to do this all over again. Now this was the result of the first try. To be honest, this came out much better than the second one. Ju I just showed you this so that you can have an idea of what you can do and it's just more examples for you guys to see. Um, but yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to mention also don't forget that you can do whatever you want choose any image you want and this is the kind of thing that you're going for it's just collage it's just random anyways so now on the actual tutorial so we have an image that we're going to be using and we're going to have also this girl that i took these are both pictures i took from instagram don't forget that the mannequin well lady that you're using has to be uh basically wearing no clothes or like wearing a bikini or something so that you have nothing on her body that's going to um instruct what you're going to be developing and collaging because it will influence you we, we don't want any influence we want it to just be abstract we want it to be free so what you're going to do first is you're going to copy paste it at least three or four times so that you can have enough s space to do different experiments and you're going to then bring back your image and what you're going to do is actually bring it forward so that it's in the first top layer next thing you're going to do is you're going to do an image tracing so what this is is basically different options that you're going to have to edit the image now as i was saying so you can choose from high fidelity photo three colors six colors 16 colors if you click on that image trace button you'll see the options for some reason my recording wasn't recording those things happening i don't understand why but who knows after i chose 16 colors option i can actually use oh my god it's not showing it that's so weird okay 
for some reason it wasn't recording the options and what I did was I clicked on the like a uh, little box at the top I don't know if you guys saw and then I selected the I tried to raise or decrease the amount of colors that I have as you guys can see the image already changed and I'm getting a bit worried now because I think it might not have showed where I was doing the color wheel stuff later on but let's just see before continuing, just make sure that you have a copy of this image. Even if you started with the original, you can have a copy of it. So if you want to do different things to it, you can. And you don't have to just go back, find the image where it was, and then paste it onto your document. Um, also, this already traced the image, so it's much faster later on. So what I'm going to do is basically copy and paste the image on the side so that we can play with it later and do whatever we want. This might be for us to change colors and so on, which I'm going to try and show you guys in a second. Um, so now we have the image. I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. You're going to go up to edit. Uh, actually, no, not edit. You're going to trace your image. So at the top, there'll be a button saying trace and you will have to trace it and once the image is traced we just have to give it a second next thing i did is i went at the top i don't know if you guys can see it says file edit and object i went on edit and then i went on edit colors and then i said recolor artwork and this took me to a color wheel which for some reason doesn't show on the recording i will show you guys that in a second so this is what I'm showing you guys. Basically, I went, I just selected, imagine this is the image. I've already expanded the image, so it's already in sections. What I'm going to do is, uh, by editing the image, I'm going to go on edit. I'm going to go on edit colors, recolor artwork. And then it brings up this wheel. And this wheel you can use, let me just show you guys. So you can have a sign, which is this. And you can have edit which is the color wheel and let me show you guys the effects of this wheel on the image so right now it looks like this if i go up on the brightness it will make the image brighter can you guys see that also i can mix things around so that image is obviously quite big if i don't know if you guys can see so it's quite big i have all of these things so if i want i can change different things around look can you see that some of them are blue, some of them are white, so I can make the white into a pink. Look, I'm going to turn the cotton ball into a different color if I want to. So that's what I was talking about, and you can mix things around. So if I was, everything started off on orange, and I wanted them all to go to blue, I can just select all of them and pull them all to blue. Can you guys see? So this is very easy for you to edit and to mix things, so if you want specific colors on an, Im on an image, See, now it's just some random image. And obviously press OK, and then you can play with it. But that's basically what that does. You can do whatever you want, and you can change things around. And you can edit images and make them cool. And yeah, this is actually part of my uni work, and I just ruined my image. But it's fine, I'm just going to undo until it goes back to the original. But that's pretty much it. And this used to be a different and color. Um, as you can see on the other video that I'm putting on top, uh, there's a color wheel option and this allows you to mix colors around and it allows you to experiment and do whatever you want, which is what's happening in this video. As you guys can see, I can select each color and then I can change it around. I can make them brighter, I can make them darker. I can change something which is pink for something which is blue in the image, which is quite cool. So if you have something that's usually red, maybe an apple, and you want to make that apple look green or you want to make it look blue, you can, you can just change all the tones to blue tones and then it will edit that or you can do it manually and so on so i find this very cool and you guys can do a lot with it um i'm still just messing with the colors i'm so sorry because this makes it much more difficult for you guys to understand but uh this the main purpose of this video is for you to do collaging so as I am doing this, you guys can see I changed a lot of different colors within it. And that is just basically me showing you guys how you can do it. If you want, you can make this just black and white. You can turn things into lines. You can just choose between uh, making a few colors only. And you can simplify an image. 
but yeah now i selected the lasso tool if that if i'm right i think that's what the name is yeah lasso tool at the top and i'm just going to remove random parts of my drawing this is because uh this image is very difficult to kind of like take away from i don't know if that makes any sense it's very blocky it doesn't have any clear cut lines so i'm just creating random lines around it and i'm just trying to make it um an abstract shape that we can later play around with if you want you can use the eraser tool i just like using the lasso tool because it allows me to cut and take away things faster than the um eraser also gives more staggered lines and the eraser gives me more firm and still and uh how can i say stiff lines so that's the kind of look i like going for so as you guys can see now i've moved on from cutting around to changing the size of the shape i'm just placing it around the body trying to see where i i like i see it fitting basically uh what kind of makes sense in a way but this doesn't make too much sense so it still looks interesting it still looks weird and it still looks different but it's not uh going against the natural body flow if that makes any sense uh so now i have two shapes on top of each other i even flip the shape to the other side just so i can make uh, some difference and some interesting um contrast then i am copying and pasting it again so that we can do further experimenting i also use the eraser tool in order to split the image into like two different images well they're still part of one but this allows me to select them easily and oops <laughs> looks like someone deleted the <laughs> the ladies at the back oopsies not me not me <laughs> Mm -hmm. joking joking okay i'm just putting it into the back all right so uh going back to what i was saying uh don't forget to like share and subscribe like share and subscribe <laughs> uh, i'm joking i'm not joking but i am joking please don't forget to hit the like button thank you okay so what i'm doing is i am messing around with the shapes i've copied and pasted them and i'm placing them around the body so i can use the lasso tool to select specific areas and then manipulate them and move them around i can also copy and paste them various times and layer them over, mo eh, layer them over each other so you guys it doesn't matter what you do really at this stage because this is before even sketching this is even before designing this is you getting your for example your mood board images or any images that are related to your work that are photogra photographs that you took layering them and messing with them literally you can do whatever you want you can do 10 versions and then you choose the best five or something so this is just for you to be free and mess around without having to spend any paper uh money or have to do anything because this is all on a computer and you can do as many as you want without having to pay any extra except for electricity you have to pay for electricity but still anyways so i just copy and pasted so that kind of looked like it can be like a shirt or a jacket and then you can have like a skirt and another thing i want to mention is you can use mirroring and symmetry within the work so what i'm trying to do here is i'm basically copying uh the same image various times and i'm going to try and place it on her and see what we can do with it uh so the smaller the bigger ones i thought they would be like sleeves and then this one i kind of thought it would be like maybe some sort of collar or something it doesn't really matter what it is really but i'm just trying to see what i can take from here later on and actually make it into a proper garment and like see how i can eventually turn it into something real because i'm not iris van herpen <laughs> Although that would look kind of cool if that was a real thing. But yeah. Um, Iris Van Herpen, please allow me to be your intern. Thank you. Please answer my emails. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, you can use it anywhere. You can even put it on the leg. You can keep layering it. But I find it very cool when you do layered images. They kind of remind me of that collection that Alexander McQueen made a while ago. A while while ago i will show you a picture in the screen right now 
uh, he had a lot of symmetry in that collection, and I found it very cool. It had, I think it was animal prints and stuff on it, which was really interesting. Um, so yeah, just experiment. You can also experiment with the opacity of the images, so you can make them 50% opacity, layer them over each other, and see what happens. And the last thing I want to show you guys is what you can do, because in that original piece of work that I had for, I think it was A-levels, yeah, A-levels, I layered colors over each other, so what you can do is select your original image or select the edited image and you can go back to that coloring wheel that I showed you before and you can actually mess around with the colors once again. So, for example, I'm layering this on her. Imagine I want the same shape with different colors, so I can go again make it slightly bigger maybe, layer them on, on top of each other, and maybe I want it to be blue, maybe I want it to be yellow, and that's basically the colors I want, I can go ahead and do it. Use the color wheels, mess things, mess things around, and that's pretty much it. The world is your oyster. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, it's very chaotic, and you can do whatever you want. As I said again, do whatever you want. Um, and that might include liking, sharing, and subscribing. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop with the joke. I'll stop with the joke. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just currently messing around with the colors on my edit. And that's pretty much it. I know these don't even look that good. The original ones that I did when the video wasn't recorded, I think they're better. But this is just me trying to show you guys how I did it and the steps I took. Um, you don't need to use color, as I said before, you can use lines, you can use black and white, you can use just monotone, you don't need to have something crazy, it's up to you, really, so yeah, uh, that's all I have to say, really, uh, another thing I would like to show you guys is the results of when you basically make the image black and white in a grayscale, the one I chose right now I think was grayscale, and you can do different effects with it it's really about the aesthetic you're going for too so it's up to you um i think i'm going to show you guys also some of my uni work that i did a few days ago um literally uses the same exact techniques and my project is on flowers and i'm going to be dying with flowers which is why i did the last youtube video which you guys can check out um in the cards above um where i used flowers to dye fabric uh it was a very interesting experiment and you guys can try and do it yourselves try different flowers that i didn't try see see if we can figure out how to to use them for our benefit <laughs> so yeah this is basically what i did i'm showing you guys on the screen very simple doesn't have to mean anything but it's creative and people like it and you'll get points for it and yeah it's one of the easiest things you can do it's a good sketchbook filler too and it looks more creative than just sketching straight away. It looks like you try to develop ideas in a different way. And it really can develop ideas in a different way. But just suggesting you guys, if you don't know how to fill your book, just do some of this and then print it out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions on the method and if you want any more clarity on how to do this, please don't forget to leave a comment below. And, yeah, um... If you guys try this yourselves, don't forget to tag me on Instagram and I will go and check it out. So yeah, thank you and that's the end of the tutorial. Alright guys, so we're back and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, as you saw, there were some technical difficulties with my computer, there was a lot of processing going on. But anyways, that is essentially what you do in a nutshell. You can obviously experiment with different things. And the world is your oyster, well, Illustrator is your oyster. And uh, if you would like me to show anything else in Illustrator, Photoshop, just please let me know in the comments below. As I always say, you guys can leave the comments and I will answer you. And I'll try my best to do what you guys ask for in the comments. So yeah, that's pretty much it on this video. Um, if you guys have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye! What? <laughs> Bye, guys!